What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue, and today I wanted to share with you a quick little how-to guide to unlocking the Avowed Reputation in Shadowlands. While most of the other reputations that we've come across in Shadowlands were introduced to directly, the Avowed is one that you could very easily miss if you didn't do a little bit of exploration. So today's video will show you how to unlock the Avowed, how to get the reputation with them, and a couple of goodies and things you can earn from the Avowed. As always, this video will be segmented out so you can move to whatever topic you choose, and if you have any questions or comments then feel free to leave a comment below, or you can swing by my community discord to ask, or if you just want to chat and say hi and stuff. The link for that will be in the description of this video. So the Avowed are a reputation in Revendreth that you can kinda compare to the more grindy ones like the Saber Stalkers in Warlords of Draenor, or the Emperor Shaohao reputation in Mists of Pandaria. The catch of this reputation that sets it apart from a lot of other ones in Shadowlands, though, is that you have to complete a specific quest chain before you can even start working on this one. In general, I would recommend doing this on a Venthyr, but seeing as there are probably more cutting-edge Castle Nathria guilds than Venthyr players right now, you may just want to do this on whatever character you currently farm stuff on instead. Though you will miss out on two of the bigger things, unfortunately, if you are not a member of the Vampire Boys. To start the Avowed Reputation, you'll either need to be level 60, or be leveling via the Threads of Fate method. I personally recommend just waiting until you're level 60, since this reputation involves killing a lot of mobs, so the more geared you are and the more power you have, the easier it'll be. There are technically two breadcrumb quests that will let you start the Avowed campaign, one of which is the Absolution of Souls, which should be located in the Sinfall Covenant Sanctum, or you can talk to Archivist Fane and pick up Our Forgotten Purpose. Don't worry if you don't stumble upon either of these quests though, as you can go directly to the start point of this quest chain, which is located in the Absolution Crypt by talking to the Accuser. I'll leave coordinates on screen to her location, as well as in the comments below so you can find her easier. This quick little quest chain should take you about 20 or so minutes to complete from start to finish, and I won't spoil any of it for you folks. It's a pretty fun little quest chain that will hopefully have some resolution in the future. The very last quest in the Avowed quest chain will require you to kill Lord Chamberlain in the Halls of Atonement dungeon. However, you don't need to do this dungeon quest immediately to start earning reputation. The way the Avowed reputation works is kinda old school, as each level of reputation will hinder the ways you can farm it as you go further along in it. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves though, you'll want to know where the Quartermaster and main quest giver is, as well as the process that goes into farming Avowed rep. That Archivist Fane fellow I mentioned earlier will be who you spend most of your time interacting with while farming Avowed Rep. He is located in the open world version of the Halls of Atonement dungeon at these coordinates. He'll require you to bring him Sinstone Fragments, which are earned from killing Venthyr in either the Halls of Atonement open world area, or in the Halls of Atonement dungeon. While you're at the neutral point with the Avowed, you'll be able to earn 3 reputation per kill of any Venthyr in the open world Halls of Atonement area. You'll only get rep from these enemies until you hit friendly though. From the Halls of Atonement dungeon, you'll get 10 reputation per enemy, and you'll be able to earn reputation from those until you reach honored. Now that is already pretty grindy since mob kills are a slow way of earning rep, but once you hit honored, what do you do? Well, all of those Sinstone fragments that you've been collecting are a big portion of what you'll be farming for the remainder of the reputation process. You see, those fragments can be turned into Archivist Fane for Inquisitor Sinstones of varying levels. The more fragments it costs, the higher level of a sinstone you get from him. Once you have this sinstone, you'll then be on the hunt for the inquisitor it belongs to. I'll leave a list of waypoints for all the inquisitors in a pinned comment, but by using the sinstone near them, you'll weaken them and upon their defeat, you'll get a big chunk of reputation for the avowed. So as you can tell, you'll be farming a lot of sinstone fragments, turning them into sinstones for inquisitors, and then defeating said inquisitor. You'll also come across Grand Inquisitor Sinstone Fragments. These are used for making Grand Sin Stones, and as you can imagine, these fellows will award the largest amount of reputation per kill. It is also possible, though unlikely, for some enemies to drop entire Sin Stones, though I wouldn't count on this happening all too often. There will also be Fugitive Souls, these blue ghostly apparitions similar to the ones that we'll find in either the Maw or Torghast. Interacting with one of these and returning to one of the friendly avowed ritualists will give you 50 reputation, as well as some sinstone fragments after you kill all the manifestations that spawn. The fugitive souls award reputation all the way to exalted, so don't forget that they're around. There is also an achievement tied to saving 100 souls in this manner, which is part of earning the Crypt Keeper title. If you're a real completionist, then keep track of the accuser's avowed meta achievement for this reputation grind. 
So now that you know how to unlock the Avowed, and how to grind the reputation, why would you want to? Obviously there has to be some rewards, because it's a really grindy rep, right? Well, yes, there are a number of goodies you can earn from raising your reputation with the Avowed. Directly next to Archivist Fane is Archivist Janira, the Quartermaster. The list of rewards from the Avowed is somewhat thin, though there are a couple curious curios to be collected. For Alchemists, I'm sure you've come across this reputation in your profession grind as reaching Honored is required to get the Shade Stone recipe. This reagent is used exclusively in the Alchemist Stone Trinket and the Eternal Cauldron Raid Consumable. For collectibles, there are two toys you can earn with the Avowed. The Rapid Recitation Quill at Revered, and the Vulgarity Arbiter at Exalted. You'll also be able to purchase the Archivist's Quill Battle Pet at Exalted. But wait, a mount and a cosmetic back piece? You might be wondering why I didn't bring those two things up sooner, as naturally those are the two more visually noticeable rewards you can receive. However, you must be a member of the Venthyr to purchase either of these. The Ebony Cryptkeeper's Mantle is available at Revered and is a very swanky, chandelier-looking thing that you hang from your back filled with anima. Look, I don't make the rules, it could be a coat hanger if you'd rather, it looks like a chandelier though. Anyways, at Exalted, you'll be able to purchase the Inquisition Gargan if you're Venthyr, who is a big chonky fellow with some nice golden mauve-colored adornments for his saddle. While I personally don't have a Venthyr, if you were thinking about grinding this reputation on an alt in the future, there is an account-bound item you earn at Exalted, the Encyclopedia of Sinstone Fragment Recovery. This will allow you to improve the Sinstone drop rate of any singular character on your account, so if you don't have a Venthyr yet, you can always make one in the future and send this item to them so the grind isn't quite as time-consuming a second time. There is also a superior quality version of this item when you reach Revered, although it is bind on pickup. Definitely buy this as soon as you're able to, as it'll help speed up your Revered to Exalted farm. As you'll be needing a lot of Sinstone Fragments not only to buy the items from the Quartermaster, but also to make those Sinstones so you can summon those Inquisitors so you can get the reputation in the first place. Anyways folks, I hope you enjoyed this little how-to guide for the Avowed Reputation in Shadowlands. I remember stumbling across this like two months before the end of the beta, and when Shadowlands went live, I totally forgot to do it until like last week. So I figured I might put this video out there to see if anybody else didn't remember it or even know it was there in the first place and helps put it on their radar. If you found this video interesting, entertaining, or useful, then maybe consider leaving a comment or a like, as it helps immensely with the channel's growth and it's greatly appreciated. As always, I just wanted to extend my gratitude to my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.